Hey guys, and today I am gonna show you this longhouse. Oh, let's do my name. Multiplayer Direct Connect. We're gonna join the server. Let's connect. So I'm gonna do a longhouse, and it's gonna be really cool because the First Nations people lived in it. If this logs in, it'll really help everyone. Thank you. Okay. So this is our longhouse because we are in a group with Keith, Keith, me, and Grace um, Hall. And this is the longhouse. So we have uh, this is the carpet that they use for blankets, and it's bear hide and wolf hide. And this is cobblestone floor, compact cobblestone floor, like clay. That's what they use for the floor. And these are the pillars to hold the roof for support. Because if you don't have pillars, it's everything's going to go very bad for you when you sleep. And especially for sleeping, you need these bunk beds because they have their own little area. So they sleep up there. And then they can go in, and then they ha they sleep down there, and they have their own little area because most nation people didn't just go off and ha make their own little house. They had their own, cause so birch wood bed made with their own storage, so they can use their own supplies and stuff for the nations, cause they use they have their own storage. Like they have most of their own stuff. Like this person might have some wood, some weapons. So yeah, that's that. And this is the fire pit, stone um, slabs, and cobblestone fire pit. So this is what they use so it, the whole house isn't burned down to put around. Looks really good because um, you need it for the smoke hole right up here. That's right. Yeah. So you go all the way up, and then there's the smoke, so you can so all the smoke can get out. And then for here, when it rains, you can close these so it doesn't put out your fire. These are really handy because they're trap doors. So yeah. Oh no! There we go. And this is the fishing area. This is very, very important because there is very important about the fishing area because this is where they dry their sa the cook salmon and cook fish. So that's really, really, really good. Oh, oh no. There we go. And this is where they keep all their cold food. They dig it two feet deep, and then it really helps because there's all this food and it keeps it cold so it doesn't rot. And yeah, and it's all in the racks for it to dry. And this is the fishing technique they used. Um, gill netting, bag netting, harpoon netting, and fish um, traps, and dip netting. That's their fishing strategy they use. That's most, That's all of it. And yeah, that really helps them. And this is what they wrote down, so it's really good. And this is the cooking area. No, this is the working area. The crafting area. So this is where they mostly do all their work and craft their weapons, and they use the supplies. And then they use and they craft it and make the weapons, and then and for supplies. And this is the cooking area. This is very important because this is where they put. This is where they cook, and this is where they keep their food. And they put and then they cook it with wood. Whoops. And they cook all that with wood, and then they and then after that they dry their salmon, like I taught showed you over there. And yeah. That's all of that in the house, but there's a lot of other things on the outside. So the outside is pretty important because when First Nation people lived, they had a garden, if you can see, and they had a barrier around their whole village because our village is all right here, all down there is our village. They had to have a barrier all around so because other First Nation fur trades attacked them so they can have barriers. And our village keeps going. Then we have our own little forest area, so we can because in um, big packs of nation people, they have their own village and they have to share all the wood. 
So yeah, that this is the other side of the village. This is the village that we share, like the stream. That's what I'm gonna talk to you right now about. So we can get over there. There we go. So this is the this is the big river we use to catch our fish, and it's really easy because we say if someone was down here, do 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 do, cutting some wood, and they put it over, down over here, it goes all the way through the barrier, through there, and all the way here. And that's where we go down to and pick it up, and that's really easy, a good strategy, and that's why we have our stream out, and then it's, that's a very good strategy that, that they used. And last but not least, this is the smokehouse. The smokehouse is to smoke salmon, and, and then after that, they cook it, and then they dry it, like I showed you before. So, for a week. I smoke it for a week and then this is well there's no salmon in here right now because we took it out and we dried it so that's why there's none in there so then we have it and then we smoke it and that that's really good too then we have our door over here and yeah I think that's pretty much it for the longhouse so thanks for watching and have a good day